Hi, I'm Jason Gore for ThatShelf.com, and we're here to talk about some IKEA hacks involving this stuff. Big shelf. So anybody who has a whole bunch of records probably has put them into these guys. These are um, Calyx or Expedit, as they used to be known. Slightly different size, slightly different construction. But one of the things that's kind of a pain in the butt about them is that they're a little bit um, deeper than they need to be, especially when they're against a wall. And so I've seen a bunch of solutions online. Um, there's somebody actually selling sort of strips of wood that you sort of tack on the bottom. Those seemed incredibly expensive. I saw some people talk about using pool noodles and I thought, hmm, pool noodles, I mean, they're colorful and I guess they're a little bit wider and they'll probably bring the records out a little bit more than I want them. But I want something that's a little bit thicker um, then, uh, and a little bit more robust that I can actually put in. You can see um, here and behind me, they're right against the wall. So I thought, huh, why don't I just go to Home Depot or whatever Lowe's, whatever store you want and get this stuff. So this is exactly like a pool noodle. Obviously you can't actually float on this, but it's essentially the stuff um, that you use to actually wrap pipes, pipe insulation, sort of the same sort of blown foam stuff. And so what you do is you just sort of Find a place to cut. So I pre-measured this. It's 13 and a half inches is basically what, what it is. You take said knife, all my plastic everywhere, Let's just put this here, and you kind of, you make uh, an incision, you roll it around, and it is extremely simple. And then I got this. So I can then get basically one, two, three, for five out of each of these and have a little bit of an end left over, which I actually used um, in combination with them to actually cover the entire back of one of these in a corner. I actually have um, a little bit of a, um, a duct that actually blows into where the records are, which I've never really been happy with. I have a bunch of tin foil there. I have um, a magnetic thing that actually goes over the register, but I really wanted something a little bit better to insulate. So I found these and then you sort of stack them up in the entire um, square where that actual um, stuff is coming now is completely blocked out. So I'm actually super happy about that. Anyway, with these, as you can see, they fit exactly. Let's try to find a right angle here. There, there, there's, there, there, there we are. <laughs> so you can see that it's basically a little bit long, uh, wider than it needs to be, but because it's foam, it sort of pushes in. And picture this just being at the back of, of this. I already have one in here, and you can see if I push on the records, they actually push out. So they're completely straight here. And behind me, uh, some of these have not been done yet. Um, uh, the ones that sort of look perfectly straight, but because it's black, you can see through to the back of the wall. You don't really notice this at all. This yellow sort of sticky stuff, this is obviously for wrapping around pipe. Super simple. You take them, you pull it out, and then here we have this little pool noodle. These are five bucks, five fifty Canadian. So like, I don't know, $2 American, whatever it is. Um, regardless, I get a bunch of these um, and very easily find a way of uh, actually hacking my Ikea and not having it even for boxes for everything that I now have everything really nice and straight, and much, much uh, easier to see. So there we go. Uh, there's a suggestion for what to do for any of you who have Calyx or Expedit extremely inexpensive. Sure, pool noodles probably are a little bit cheaper, but I think that they're a little, the density is a little bit less. And I actually found a bunch of them um, a little bit too thick um, for there. And plus you're gonna see the colors. You're gonna see it through um, for sections like this where um, you, you haven't completely filled the slot. So this for me is the way to go. Not such a terrible idea. For ThatShelf.com, I'm Jason Gober. We're literally talking about shelf stuff here on ThatShelf.com. I thought you'd enjoy that. Um, please subscribe, follow us on social media, and we will see you in the next video. All the best, take care.